Hello everyone. I am making a book cover from three pieces of cardboard. And the reason I am using three different pieces, I am using a tape for the hinge. I'm using the tape along the spine. I'm using a strong tape so that the, the hinge of the book is a little bit stronger. It might last a little bit longer um, than using a single piece of cardboard. So I have cut two pieces of cardboard the same size for the front and the back of the cover. I went ahead and did six inches by four inches. And I have about a one inch spine that is the same height as the book, six inches. Um, you can make your spine a little bit more narrow, a little bit larger, um, whatever you need it to be, you can do. So. I'm going to put, the, the, put this together first. Uh, I'm using Tyvek tape. It is extremely strong, extremely sticky, and it, it's, it works really well for this. But if you don't have this, you can find this at the hardware store. If you don't have this, you can use um, like a duct tape, something, some, something that's really strong. All right. I'm going to be covering this with paper so I don't really care what it looks like. And this stuff is extremely sticky and always sticks to me and anything that touches it. So I've got my two covers out here. I'm going to have a book that's six inches tall. So I need a piece of tape that is a little bit more than twice the height of the covers. I just want it to overlap a little bit. I don't really see it just sticks really really well. All right. Let me just cut it off here. You just want it to overlap. You don't need it to to go over three times. So just a little bit extra is going to be plenty. So let me get it to lay out there. I'm just going to leave the scissors there. Um, I'm going to put my spine on the tape. And I'm centering my spine so that it's in the middle this way and in the middle this way. Um, I'm just kind of guesstimating. I'm trying to go over and make sure that there's a, uh, the same amount of tape on both sides of the spine before I press it in because as soon as that cardboard touches that tape it is stuck it's not coming off um, this is really strong sticking stick tape and then what I want to do is I want to add my covers um, you want to leave just a little bit of gap about the height of the thickness of your cardboard you want to be able to open and close your book and if you butt your cardboard up too close it can't move so I am going to guesstimate I'm also lining up the top and the bottom of the spine and the cover so that they are exactly the same and I'm going to put that there so I've got enough that I can open the book. And I need to do that for the same thing for the other side. Lay it in there. And then press it onto the tape. So you can see I've left um, quite a bit of a gap there. And they're supposed to be equal equal gaps but I made one larger than the other it'll still work it'll be fine um, so then all I need to do is bring up the ends make sure that they are tight against the edge of the cardboard and bring down the other end they don't have to overlap this much just makes it a little stronger if they do and then 
and then you've got your book cover that can be folded either way. Um, make sure that you can open and close your book. All right, so that is that. I am going to cover this with a little bit of brown paper that I stamped. So I want my paper for the front of the cover to be, it's supposed to be a little bit more than an inch. Um, I'm a little short, but it'll be fine. And then I want my inside cover or inside paper to be a little less than the cover. So I can see a little bit of the cover on all four sides and it's pretty close. Um, it's a little bit too short on the ends here, but I'm just going to make it work. All right. I am using um, a gloss medium, matte medium. I'm trying to use up this last little bit of gloss, so hopefully I can get that <laughs> used up. And so I am just going to put some glue on the cover. Oops, that's quite a bit. And I'm going to make sure that I get it well covered and it's spread around real thin. You don't want any globs of glue that will make little bumps in your cover. And you want to make sure that you've got quite a bit of glue on your spine. So turn that over and center it. On your paper. Press out all the air bubbles. Make sure it's how you want it. And I'm going to do a little bit differently this time. Um, I see that it's coming up in the corner, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just on the corners there. Um, I am going to fold these corners down. Instead of cutting them off, I usually cut them off, but I'm just going to fold them kind of square so that they go with your paper. And I am leaving about a sixteenth of an inch from the tip of the paper. Okay, I'm going to do that on all four sides. And these have glue on them, so I want to do it while the glue is kind of wet. I'm going to fold all of them, leaving just a sixteenth of an inch about. This takes a little bit of practice. A little bit more. Okay. And then I am going to glue down those corners. Got a lot of glue on my brush here. I'm going to glue down the corners. It's just a different way to do the corners. Crease that really well. Okay. And then I'm going to do the top and the bottom. I think I've got quite a bit of glue here. Let's see if I can use some of that up off my brush before it dries. 
Then I am going to pull down the paper against the edge of the cardboard so it makes a nice crisp edge. Make sure I've got glue on the corners and let them come down. So what we're doing is we're trying to make a pretty square corner. Doesn't always work. Sometimes they turn out just a little bit rounded. Oh, you saw the other one. You saw the other one. Anyway, so that's what, what I'm doing. And while my glue is wet, I need to bend my cover, make sure that the spine, the paper, you need to um, make sure that you crease that paper while the glue is wet, while the paper is wet with the glue, stretch that paper over the crease so that it doesn't um, break. It will, it will split open if you wait to, uh, for the glue to dry before you crease it. So if you do it while the glue and the paper are wet, that paper stretches over the bend and your paper doesn't break. So let me do the other side here. Pulling the paper tight against the cardboard. Make sure the corners are down. And then I want to do the ends. A little bit more glue, I think. I think my glue is accumulating in my brush. This is an old icky brush and it's soaking up that glue really well. So I want to pull that paper against the cardboard, get that corner to go to the corner. Sometimes it's a little bit rounded and sometimes it works perfectly well. This one is a little, a little off, so the corner is just a little rounded, but it'll still be fine. Okay, I'm going to do that with the other end here. Get the glue out of this brush. Because there's a lot of glue in there. Get it off my fingers. Okay. Pull that paper against the edge of the cardboard and get that corner to line up there. So when you leave a sixteenth of an inch about, it makes your corners a little bit more square, but it does take a little bit of practice to get there. Just a little bit. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't happen the first time. You'll get there. A couple of tries. Um, and usually what happens to me is I've got three good corners and one bad one. It happens to me all the time. Doesn't stop me. All right, so now I want to put in my inside paper. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue. Like that. It's a lot of glue. I want to make sure that I've got the whole thing covered with a thin coat. 
and I want a little extra at the spine. We want that really juicy, wet with glue so that the paper will stick there. Make sure there's no lumps and bumps because they will dry and there'll be bumps and lumps in your cover. So everything's all smoothed out before it dries. Get the paper lined up. And make sure that it is connecting to all the glue and the cover. Got mine a little bit crooked. And you want to make sure that you've got your paper connected in the spine area. Rub it in there really well. And then bend that paper. Sometimes you get some wrinkles as you bend. Sometimes they're bigger than others. All you need to do is use the back of your paintbrush or bone folder and just press that paper into the wet glue. so that it will stay where you want it glued. And I didn't get enough glue there in the corner. Let me just put a little bit more glue there. A little bit more here. That one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. Got glue everywhere. So, and that looks pretty good too. I've pressed it really well onto the spine. And so here is your cover. It usually warps just a little bit, so I kind of convince it to be a little bit more straight. And I always let these dry overnight at least before I start doing anything with them. So I let it dry standing up and I make sure that it is mostly closed. I usually have to, you know, put something there so that it will stay overnight um, and I let it dry in that position and that way my papers won't crack when I try to open them. I, I leave it flat and let it dry that way. My papers are likely to crack at the spine but they don't so much if I leave it bent like that and let it dry that way. So that is another cover. And I'm just going to let it dry. Thanks for watching.